Matt Ramos, super chill, so-called super fan of Marvel and DC, and here we are on his official YouTube channel. Now, as I go back through his timeline, because She-Hulk came out on the 18th of August, from what I can remember, and we have some She-Hulk videos here, that's not bad, some breakdowns of the trailer, which was awful as we all know by now. Let's talk She-Hulk, uh, let's not. So keep scrolling along, there's stuff about Thor, the Joker right here, how he played multiverses with his friends. I didn't know he had friends. Stranger Things, Ezra Miller updates. You get the drift. I mean, this guy is so, he's so passionate about She-Hulk. In fact, everything he's passionate about, I don't think this guy actually does an episodic review of. Now he may have, but oh my God, have you ever sat through one of Matt Ramos's videos? Neither have I. So he's having a massage there. That that's a bit of a dodgy thumb now because if you were drunk, that would look like um, a, a brat verse, shall we say? Yeah, look, I can't see any latest She-Hulk videos. So Matt Ramos, are you a super shill or are you a super fan of She-Hulk and other IPs? I'm guessing no. no. Oh, man. Are you ready for cringe? Here he comes. Now, one of the people I despise the most on social media right now is Matt Ramos, the self-proclaimed journalist, a guy with over 2 million followers on TikTok. Good for him, but man, when you see this guy's takes on Marvel and DC properties, I'm telling you, this guy is a robot. You just press A or B and he can be programmed to say whatever you want him to do. So I was kind of curious about the fact that he went to the She-Hulk premiere back in, well, it was last month now, wasn't it? Yeah, um, 17th of August. So one day before the show actually dropped on Disney+. Plus. So I've actually gone through bits of this premiere. It is as cringe as you'd expect it to be. And uh, it's only had like, what, 21,000 plus views. Uh, so not brilliant because I guess people don't give a shit about She-Hulk. But I thought I'd go through some of this really quickly because it is absolute cringe. So without further ado, let's just cool take this away. Yeah, it's a cool one. We rolling? Yeah, we rolling, we rolling. Wow. Right. Guys, we just got our badges. She-Hulk. They're actually called uh, lanyards, but that's all right. I'll give you badge. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just imagine people turning up to watch She-Hulk coming out of the theater afterwards and thinking, God, that was a load of shit, wasn't it? Shit, Hulk. Guys, they've been placing these benches throughout the city. That's Jamila Jamil. That's really? Titanium. Oh, no, Titanium not Jamila Jamil. Oh, God. What, Miss Fake Lips, tits and ass? Dude, I am so excited about how, like, this is insane, bro. I think what's really insane is that Will Ferrell hairstyle this guy's got here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Most excited to see in She-Hulk. I mean, I'm excited. Uh, your tits, maybe? Because I kind of like those. Strong, powerful green woman. Tatiana Maslany is just, she's so talented. She's so unbelievably talented. So I, I'm so excited. Yeah. Well, she's really talented in Orphan Black. I'll give her that much. That's absolutely true. Carry on, love. You doing good? What excites you the most about She-Hulk? I don't know how to describe it, but I think it's going to be like super awesome and like... Yeah, Victoria Alonso's new protege. Beware, kid. Be very aware. It's going to be pretty cool seeing She-Hulk. Guys, Tatiana Maslany, She-Hulk herself just arrived. We're going to hope to get her in the vlog. Not to talk to her, but just to see her doing her thing on the carpet. She-Hulk is here. <gasps> no! I can't contain myself. Help me now! Help me! Matt Ramos! It's really weird. This guy thinks he's a bit of a superstar. I, I, he's not. He's a he's a program chill for Disney, Marvel, and DC. He is. Oh here, no! Guys, you got the wrong costume on, kid. Oh man! Are you ready for cringe? Here he comes. Women, I love women. I'm so. I love women too, but just not in the way that she does. Excited to see a woman just like be a badass. Like, oh, also but here's the funny thing, ladies and gentlemen. This chick here has no idea what went on in the decades before she was born 
the 80s. We had Ellen Ripley. We had Cynthia Rothrock. We had Michelle Yeoh. We had all these great iconic action females. Some of them not well known to Western audiences, but if you switch on a Jackie Chan movie, you see some amazing female protagonists, antagonists just kicking the ass out of men. And they're not... They're not showboating their skills. It's like, you know, we're, we're having as much fun as the boys. No messaging involved because back then it wasn't about the message. So Generation Z is actually dead to me. They just have no, they've probably got about two brain cells between each of them. And that's what actually makes me laugh about, oh, I can't wait to see a badass woman, badass women on the screen. Oh, it is so misguided. It's almost, it's almost like they're just giving a big finger to what Hollywood has done before and going forward now is meant to be the new norm are you kidding are you really do you really think we're gonna take that seriously no because the more entertainment gets woke the more it's gonna drive away old school fans people like me and maybe the new generation that's coming up generation dead Z. They might one day realize they've been duped because like Soups, I thought he would, well, before I turned, before I got deprogrammed and joined, you know, the fellowship, staying away from the community, I didn't realize that Matt Smith, well, Matt Ramos, sorry, Matt Smith, didn't mean to call your name out in vain, uh, was a paid shell by Marvel, Disney and Warner Brothers because he does the same thing in every video. Now, for a guy who got very excited about She-Hulk, in fact, I'm just gonna to go towards the end here. What does he say? Watching the first four episodes of She-Hulk, in conclusion, the show is fire as hell. I cannot wait to see more. I'm fiend, I'm, I'm, I'm itching, I'm itching for some more She-Hulk episodes. Like there's some Marvel comedy that I personally don't find funny. There was a lot of comedy in this that I found hilarious. Really, Matt? Wow. I mean, were we watching the same TV show? Honestly, did he finds some comedy not that great. Let us just go back to what he said here again. More, I'm fiend. I'm, I'm, I'm itching. I'm itching for some more She-Hulk episodes. Like, there's some Marvel comedy that I personally don't find funny. There was a lot of... There's some Marvel comedy doesn't find funny, some of it. So, yeah, Ant-Man, maybe Thor, Love and Thunder but he found She-Hulk really funny on so many levels. I wonder why, Matt, do you find a seven foot tall green woman it sexually excites you? Now, Matt Ramos, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but he's the epitome of absolute cringe right now. When it comes to being a pundit for everything that is pop culture, everything that is pop culture that is slowly being eroded from time and history, folks. But you know what actually takes away this bittersweet taste from my mouth? Camilla Georgie, probably the hottest tennis player right now. And you know what? I just take a look at Camilla and all my troubles suddenly go away. I can't imagine why. Can you? So, folks, if you enjoyed this little quick rant today about Matt Ramos and his complete and utter shameless shilling for Marvel, Disney and Warner Brothers, make sure you leave a like below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if I were you and if you were me, I will see you on the next video.